this short video series we are going to learn how to create the annotations for image classification and object detections computer vision tasks now these annotations they are also referred to as ground truth creation labels creation or classes creation okay so these four are referring to the same thing now there are a number of free tools available on github for achieving these tasks but i particularly like this one called make sense.ai uh, it's very lightweight browser based and easy to use tool um, we can run it uh, from the browser and also uh, the images are not uploaded to any server so it's quite fast and the source code of this uh, tool is also available on the github we can download from the github and run it uh, locally okay so we can create the annotations in offline mode as well okay so today we will create the annotations for image classification tasks okay all right so this is how uh, the front page looked like uh, go to get started on the bottom right click here and then we upload the images uh, again these images are not uploaded to any server they are still local okay so we are simply selecting the images so here i have already prepared some images uh, we want to do classification so i'm selecting the images all right so we have loaded 17 images now there are two tasks one object detection and the second one called image recognition but it is uh, image classification okay so click on image recognition now we need to create the labels there are two ways to create the labels i'll show the first one uh, which is manually creating the labels so first you type here now uh, we have a data set of three fruits apple orange and banana so let's create the first label apple and then you can say plus to create another label orange right uh, and banana right uh, then you can click on the start project uh, but i don't recommend uh, this way uh, because we might not be annotating all the images uh, at once so every time we want to create some annotations uh, we would have to create these labels manually and by, we might make some typos etc right so it's always a better the better approach would be to have these labels in a text file and then load the labels from that file okay so what we do is we load the labels from the file now i'll click here then here i have a simple text file uh, which just contain three rows so click here all right it says three labels are found in that file then click on start project okay so these are the three labels we loaded from the file okay so before we you start annotating the images just make sure all the labels are loaded correctly all right as this is a image classification task we are going to tag each image with one label okay we can have multi label classification as well where we can have multiple tags for each image okay uh, it's a very very straightforward thing um, so here you choose the image i mean you can navigate between the images you can select and deselect the images okay you can do all that from the left panel and the images you selected it's get displayed uh, at the center and then your labels are on the right okay so let's start annotating so this one uh, it's an apple and then go to the next one another apple so our images uh, these images are organized so that uh, they are they are in this order but uh, in a general use case uh, all the images get mixed up right so they won't be uh, separated all right then we have banana so click on banana all right so okay uh, i'm not going to annotate all of them but then here we have the third class which is orange so i'll do a couple of them so click the image and so 
the images we have already annotated. Uh, you can see them uh, with this blue right tick on the left bottom corner. Now, after annotating all the images, uh, it's a good idea to uh, go back to the images and verify uh, once. So you can quickly browse through the images to make sure we have uh, labeled them correctly. For example, let's say we have labeled this one incorrectly. This is an orange. It's not a banana. Let's just pretend, right? So it, you click this again. Uh, so it get des uh, deselected and then you click uh, orange if it's an orange, right? So that way you can select and deselect our, uh, uh, the annotations. All right, once you have done all the images, go to actions, then uh, click on this uh, export annotations. Now, if you want to add some more images, you can obviously do that. So you can click on import images uh, and then uh, create annotations for those. Uh, but don't do that. Uh, you can do in multiple iterations. You don't have to annotate all the images at the same time. So I'm going for export annotations. Now here we have two options. We will export to CSV file uh, for just for the readability, uh, but JSON files would work uh, fine as well. Okay, so I am choosing CSV file export. So I am saving it to classification. I have saved the file and then finally I am opening the file. All right. Uh, for image classification tasks, uh, this tool is not uh, creating the headings. So the first row, uh, it's actually the image data. It's not uh, the column headings. Okay. So it's very simple, right? I mean, uh, here we have two columns. Uh, the first one, that's the image or file name. And the second one, uh, it's a list uh, with the labels. Okay, if it's a multi-label classification, we would have multiple labels uh, separated by comma. It's uh, it's like a Python list. Okay, now here the images are labeled uh, with the class, uh, but that don't have to be the case. These image names uh, they can be anything. Okay, all right, and after this, again depending on the framework uh, and the model we are training. Uh, they expect uh, these annotations in different formats. For example, SageMaker inbuilt algorithms, uh, uh, they expect this LST format. The TensorFlow models expect in a different format. So uh, we will convert these files uh, to the requirements of a particular model, right? But creating the CSV files, uh, we can quickly verify the annotations and uh, also uh, it's easy to see. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much.